everyone yelling at me. Oh no, the voice, it came back. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably, Yuri. Eh. I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Maybe. Hey. That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good. That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Crow. Oh man, now it's getting very bittersweet with god dang Sayori. Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Alright, just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well today, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out the classroom humming to herself. God freaking dang it. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, aren't we, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second. Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Huh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Wait, catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, uh. Stagnating air is common, foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Yuri! You're full of foreshadows! In your books, maybe? Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Ha! Ah, seems you were right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyways? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Ah, oh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously. All times to not go home with her. You pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Ah, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. And second... She's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Oh... That's curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Calm down, guys. I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyways, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations, so let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing! That's right, Natsuki will be making cupcakes, but we might need a lot of them, and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! As for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. So Yuri will be helping me design them. As for you, Yuri... Yuri, you can... Uh, um... Guys, can you help me come come up with something for Yuri? I... I I'm useless. No! That's not it at all! You're the most talented person here, you know! <laughs> now Natsuki is pouting too. Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit. I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Ah, that may be the case. But if I can also be a leader on my own, but if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? I'm about that, I... Love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changed as she stirs at her desk and focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. 
you'll be a wonderful help here. But anyway, that just leaves you, Crown. One who is truly useless. That's how I feel about myself anyways. Ha ha ha, don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It'd probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really appreciate that. Ah, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Ah, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyways. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own? Crow may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, you may be more suited to assist with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyways? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Crow to... Uh, what are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys. I settle down for a moment. At the end, I think it's up to Crow to decide how he would like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know. I'm sure he's interested in he, liter he literally just said. I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I'm just saying though. Jeez. Did we just settle things already? Yeah. Crow, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Ah. Of course. Hm. Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. Fudge! <clears throat> See, the thing is, is that I am deeply worried about Sayori. But I also want to spend some time with Monica. But the thing is that you don't forget your bestie. God freaking dang it. Okay, so if anything, screw Natsuki. And if anything, I like Yuri, I like Monica. And Sayori is basically giving me ridiculously bad vibes. Ridiculously bad vibes. Oh my god, come on, think to yourself. Okay, I I'm actually worried about Sayori. But, I feel like, oh my god! Okay, so, I'm pretty sure that a normal person would just focus on somebody. Or at least try to balance them all out. This is the first time we can pick Monica, though. Okay, if anything... I'm gonna pick Sayori for this one, just because she's worrying me a little bit too much. I mean... 
If it's gonna be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her. Jeez. You really hate us that much? No! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. God dang it! Fine! Monica! Jeez! Well, I guess I should probably be helping Monica. Yay! You picked me! Hold on one second. Yeah. Monica, you're the one who needs the least help out of all of us. This is so mad! Eh, but I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but you already have Sayori as well. But Pro was the one who... Ah, it doesn't matter. You're the one who scared him into picking you in the first place. You're the club president, Monica, is supposed to be making responsible decisions for the club. Monica, you shouldn't let any ulterior motives interfere with the decision. What ulterior motives? What are you saying, Gary? In fact, it sounds like you guys are the ones with ulterior motives. Excuse me? Otherwise, this wouldn't have been made into such a big deal in the first place. That, that's completely false, Monica. Yeah! You have a lot of work to do, you know. You won't do as good of a job if you make us work alone. Ah, oh, maybe that's true. Think of the club, Monica. If we want our event to succeed, then we need to appropriately distribute our resources. Um, uh... Are you gonna do the right thing, President? Uh, okay, okay, I get it. Uh, it's technically most logical for Crow to help out one of you two. So, I guess that's what we'll do. Yuri! Dang! <laughs> Me? Are you serious? Why would you... That's okay. I can already tell you're about to say something mean. No. I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri out then, Red uh, Crow. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sort of things. So I think with your assistance, will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah, I already said it would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little. Do you feel the same way, Crow? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Hm! N natsuki What? Why is everyone yelling at me? Oh no! The voice! It came back! Why is everybody yelling at me anyway? I didn't even do anything! N no! That's not what I meant at all. Uh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I, I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Crow picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. But why? Uh, um... Well... I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. You're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monika are, are also taken aback by Yuri's words. She already has trouble with words. Trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No! I kind of appreciate it. I'm sorry for making such a big deal out of nothing. But I'm gonna say this. You better bet that my cupcakes are gonna be the best part of the whole event. Ah. I believe you. Yeah! 
hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I'd like to follow Monica and Natsuki at the door as they chat between each other. Um, huh? I turn around. S Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. You and I exchanged phone numbers. Okay. I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No! Not at all! I, I just thought that I would be the one going to your house since I'm helping you. Ah, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer to go to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. HOLD IT! It's not like I sh it should matter either way, so I just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Crow. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I do. But, but Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Huh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah. I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. All right, everybody. This is where I'm gonna call it. And thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And remember, if I don't see you guys watching, if I don't see you guys putting a thumbs up, I'm probably gonna do one video a week on this, if anything, and then do Sims. So I'm watching you guys. Just know that. I love you all. And I want you all to have a good day. I'll see you all in the next recording. See ya.